You've seen the two huge cooling fans on either side of my print head, but why all the fuss? Stick around, you don't want to miss this. On my X carriage, you can see three cooling fans, two on either side with fan ducts facing toward the nozzle and the other facing the print head. Actually, having a fan here is mandatory to all FDM printers as it cools down the heatsink called the cold end, which prevents plastic filament from melting further up the print head. The hot end is the part down here, which melts the plastic and is pushed through the nozzle. The reason for these two fans on either side of the nozzle is to cool down the extruded plastic as soon as possible, so the plastic can maintain its shape and support the next layer above it. If the previous layer of plastic is too hot, then it will be soft, unable to support the next layer, resulting in an uneven deposit and an ugly finish. Let's test this theory by printing two calibration cubes with and without the fans activated. Here are the calibration cubes made of PLA plastic. One was printed with the cooling fans active, whilst the other with the fans turned off. Without cooling, you can see the corners are not sharp and the shape is distorted. The cube where the fans were active shows sharp edges and straight walls. Especially for calibration cubes, if you tried to calibrate your printer with the cube without the fans, you wouldn't be calibrating your printer at all. So if I try to measure this calibration cube here without the cooling fans, I'll measure this axis first. Let's see what we get. 19.77, move over to the other axis. 19.5, okay. Let's move over to the calibration cube which did have the fans activated. Measure this axis first, 19.89, and measure the other axis, 19.86. Much closer to reality. In a previous video, I printed this guy. This is the Marvin keychain. I did use the cooling fans here. To see that video, click on the window. This time, I'll print this exact same Marvin piece without the fans activated. Let's see what happens.
uh, not pretty as you saw in the video the entire part was still in a kind of soft molten state with each layer being deposited on top and it shows in the finish all the detail of this part has been kind of mashed together uh, it's lost its nice smooth surface there's a lot of overlapping layers it looks like it's not a pretty finish So this is what happens with PLA plastic without the cooling fans. PLA has a glass transition temperature of approximately 55 degrees Celsius. So the cooling fans uh, assist in cooling down the plastic to that 55 degree mark before the next layer gets deposited. That will result in a nice, even, uh, detailed finish. But what about if we try to print this in ABS plastic? ABS has a glass transition temperature somewhere between 90 and 100 degrees Celsius. That means the plastic doesn't need to be cooled down uh, quite as far as PLA to maintain its, uh, its, its shape and its rigidity. But uh, ABS can still be succumbed to this particular uh, feature where if it's still quite molten, especially with using the heat bed, the result will be virtually the same as the one here. So even though we shouldn't be using cooling fans, or it's at least not recommended to use cooling fans with ABS because ABS tends to shrink when it's cooled, resulting in the part popping off the bed, this particular piece doesn't have a lot of adhesion to the bed or it's not a, a long uh, piece. So I think we can get away with turning on the cooling fan with ABS plastic. So for this next test, I'll be printing Marvin once again with the uh, black glossy ABS plastic I have. I'll enable the cooling fans, but only up to 50% uh, speed. I was printing this one at 100% speed because we don't need to cool the ABS down to that 55 degree mark like with PLA. We only need to cool it down to about 90 degrees. So will ABS result in a finish like this? Let's find out. And here it is, Marvin once again, this time printed in black ABS plastic. And you'll notice it is printed absolutely perfectly. There, there is no distortion from any overlapping filament. Um, the filament was rigid while it was printing, as you saw, and all the features of this Marvin piece have come out just fine. In fact, if I bring over the PLA Marvin, which printed just fine, they're virtually identical in their finish. So depending on uh, the piece that you're printing in ABS, it's not totally uh, forbidden to use the, uh, the cooling fans, especially for uh, detailed pieces or at least small pieces like this, uh, this Marvin keychain. So if you don't have cooling fans on either side of your hot end blowing on the at least PLA plastic, you're missing out on a lot of uh, printed part quality just by not having them on or active. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments, and I'll catch you next time.